Hello, boys. <clears throat> it's me, Kuliyoshi here. Welcome back to my uh, blind playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus for Nintendo Switch. In the last video, we left off taking a break from all the grinding stuff and doing a lot of storyline progression instead so that we can then buff up our other characters as much as possible. And in doing so, we've gone so far as to pretty much uh, get tons of levels on all of our Pokemon. So as you can see, lots of stuff has changed. Most of our characters are level 60. And more importantly, I added Glade to the team as well as did some other stuff, which involved Celio getting his evolution. So we'll actually start by doing that. We'll get him to Wall Rain. So we can have a Wall Rain ready. Really, we're just doing this to get um, the Pokemon discovered. But beyond that, pretty cool. Got that. So we'll do that so that that Pokemon is now caught. And then we're just going to report to the Professor because I actually went and caught a lot of other Pokemon. So I I'll briefly explain what I got. And I'll actually just show you what's new. Because off screen, I did a lot of catching particularly for the alpha pokemon so as you can see i have three new alpha pokemon i caught and so i'll just show briefly what i got for zubat i just got defeated ones burmy i got that v barrel uh, that the newest ones i got were of course toxicroak which we got by uh not only evolving Crow Gunk in the previous episode, but doing other stuff. And we also got one for Crow Gunk's other benefit. Apom, we got him completed now, which we did by just defeating it with fighting type moves and a couple of our stuff. Abanoso is a new one we got. Hunter, we got kind of off screen. Not really, we already had one, but I just went and added a defeated one. And we also got. Bronze on Machoke up a little bit, and yeah, Machoke I actually completed as well, so I went off screen and studied using items. Gilgar I almost completed. Mischievous is probably one of the other new ones I got. And then of course we got these that I just got, and I guess the main thing I did is I completed Snow on Piles, Swine Up, and Pile Sign all offline, along with Bergamite, and we got silver for the first time well actually we already had him but we got more of that some of these we've just missed since a while and we also defeated caught and defeated well just caught some kadaba and of course these are the ones we caught in the main video but here's where things start getting interesting and yeah we found a zora as well this is a pretty rare pokemon i think i've only seen it once but I think I found it in like this ice cave around the same area where Icy Rock is. I was just kind of going around and I found it randomly. So, hooray, I caught that. I got Ambipom, Elokid, Atabuzz, they're all new, as well as Vicario, Vivo. And that's about it. Just catching you guys up to what we got. That was a lot of points. Not gonna lie, that was a ton of points. The only thing I'm gonna do now, um,. I actually want to finish off the storyline. I think I have enough stars to where I can finish it off. So I'm I'm actually getting tired enough at this game. Uh, tired with this game to the point where I might just finish off other stuff. So because some of these new ones are alphas, I'm going to look backwards to see which ones are alphas and which are not. Okay, here's one. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to replace it with one that actually has a good move set. But while I do that, I'll also change my moves to see if he has some good moves. Okay, he has a uh, blizzard, which is nice. Vox slide. I'm going to replace ancient power with this. This is not a good move. But that is blizzard, which is not bad. One of the best ice moves in the game. But it tends to miss decent amount and then for uh, let's check a bomb so I want to check between those two and then I'll decide which one to oh spaced off of that we have blizzard on him as well 
And some grass moves. Kind of a mix of Woodhammer's really good. I actually like his setup as it is. So you know what? I'm going to quit changing his moves. And I'm going to use him. And he's going to be our new ice Pokemon. Because we do have a water type Pokemon. So I could just use Samurott if I need to use that. But otherwise I'm going to use Bombasil. So that's the biggest change to our team. Is we now have two alpha Pokemon in our team for the first time. The big one we got is, of course, Gallade, who is very well set up with all of his moves. But anyways, Mitch, now that we're finally done with all that, let's uh, rest to get this going and then just use our flyer to go as fast as possible. Because a big thing we found with the last episode is, I believe, the final of the mounts, which is the flying mount. Oh, it is a bit trickier to use, given you have to sometimes use it up to multiple times. So more often than not, you'll have to use other stuff to get it. But with this, we can now skip a lot of track, particularly across the wild areas, meaning there's no danger of encountering wild Pokemon anymore. And it allows us to scale even more tougher clips that we couldn't see otherwise. So... Anyways, we'll go over here to trigger a cutscene. Why, if it isn't Yoshi, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of a bastard ice ants. I came to bring Eric an order of sword caps, and he was more willing to have a chat about Avalog. What do you say, interested in a bit of gossip? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the thick of history's nobles. That he is. And you know what? He's an absolute beast. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barrage you with chunks of ice, he also fires off massacre icicles, and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt to the ground below you, basically constant moving. Does that seem a bit too powerful to take on? It's more, apparently the Avalog of old could be up to 100 feet tall. Does that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'd be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps, then give your ch any, any or all nothing better for building muscle than that. Onward now to the arena. And yes, I did want to see that Avalog, perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Alright. Interestingly enough, I don't actually think I have the item yet, but I'm still going up anyway. So the way I'm going to climb up sort of speedrun wise is to just use uh, our flight Pokemon a couple of times until I can no longer go to Eversots. And then trigger this so that we can get the next site done. So we are to quell Avalog as you wished. In the end, the strength of your feelings went out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk around both people Pokemon. Well, I suppose i better getting work making some bombs easy on Terrell Ice. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did get it. I heard how they are made, and with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. Alright. Well, then. There you have it. They truly wish to quell Valglon and walk on. The path lies before you. Know that Avalog will hurl chugs of ice at you without rent. You'll need unrivaled dodging ability. Heh, <laughs> still I'm going. Alright. Oh boy. So I, I, I assume this is going to be the worst of the bosses, right? If Manny makes sense. Well, here we go. It's gonna be probably just as brittle as the ever fight. Alright. Whew. Just pausing to make sure I have ever stuff set up. Oh, I see you now. You have these big balls of ice here you have to dodge all of a sudden. Is 
Since I still need to change Pokemon, let's say like, share Glade is... Even a single dodge there. That is not a good way to start off this fight. Alright, there we go. Good creep. Darn it, after all of that, I still can't take it out in one hit. Always that one annoying thing that gets in my way. Well, I'm gonna have to do the heal trick after we finish this off. It's a bit annoying that I have to use the revive trick on this fight, but that's what will happen. So, so far the icicles are probably my most brutal part. All right. Ah, all right. I will say getting hit right off the bat is not a good way to start this fight off. This is initially why I actually wanted to heal a bit on purpose. So I wouldn't black out and lose my stuff because the fact that you actually like lose some of your stuff when you black out potentially, that, that entire area just makes fighting really scary just because I I could like imagine being able to black out at any time yeah that could be really brutal if that happens at the wrong time all right whoa it would help if I could actually see him but it keeps fast shifting the camera instead of focusing on him that's fine, I shouldn't need it for this battle. It's just really annoying that it does that. Okay, the first path is probably the easiest of the entire session. This is the part I hate. But now I have the sound cue, so I should be fine. And this beam I have to dodge through. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Well, since I have to do the quick version at least once, I can't one-hit it using the same strategy as ever stuff. Maybe if uh, I could get a hit in before it, maybe something could happen. But otherwise, I'm gonna have to use close combat once, and also because I lower my defensive stats at the beginning, maybe this is not a good idea to use early. All right. Also, I just find it annoying that, just like all the other stuff, a level 56 Pokemon that isn't fully up into dealing with Gallade. Still, could just take it out in one hit. That's all it takes. That me tells me that this Pokemon is not playing around. Not even a little bit. Fortunately, there's not much time when it comes to extra bombs. Because you have to focus entirely on dodging his attack. Oh, it's trying to troll us. Whoa, now it goes even faster. 
How am I supposed to dodge that? How am I supposed to dodge an attack where I can't even see where it's coming? I wish there was a way to, like, restore your full health because, my gosh, that is so terrifying to deal with. Just the fact that it even does that at all is just super annoying, man. Oh, and I forgot to revive anyways. If anything, if I die to this fight, it's probably because I just took way too much damage early. By the way, I'm not determined to save before it, so that means we might actually see what happens when we black out. Not like it matters if somebody recovers my uh, satchel or whatever, or if I even drop a satchel at all. Then I'll get all my items back. But otherwise, all these items you see here, they might be gone. Depending on what happens next. But what am I talking about? I need to actually get through the fight. Okay, good. And the ice is gone. Alright. Well, it seems I have no choice but to... Uh, do this the way I didn't want to do it, which involves using this. And yes, you do not heal in between battles, so you only have a set amount of health to dodge attacks. So if you take too much damage, you just get screwed. If I could somehow get past this first part, maybe I could save it. Oh, great. So as it gets fuller in health, it adds even more icicles on other stuff. In case I thought it was already brutal enough, now you have other stuff. It also can leave icicles on the ground, which is just rude. And the recovery from dodging, that's the worst part of it all. So simply because of that fourth part, because of that, I know, I know, I, I, I what's funny is I know about that. Oh, I can just restart it. Wow, okay. Well, that's convenient. Okay, so this battle is different. So, we didn't actually lose our stuff. In fact, we could just attempt the battle again right off the bat. I will say, though, that first part with the middle part, that is the most brutal part of the entire Avalog battle. Because not only are you given, like, literally no time to throw bombs whatsoever, but you have to dodge these attacks as you're going through. It's just really obnoxious. The ice... Uh, Sculpture or whatever, that's my least favorite attack so far. When that's on fast mode, if I dodge at the wrong time, I just won't be able to avoid it. That's just the gist of it. And yes, the game is kind of being cheap with the beam theme. I actually figured out how to dodge that almost right away. It's the secondary beam that I didn't know how to dodge. Alright, well... Since it uh, does stronger attacks based off of health, I probably want to wait until I can hit it down to lower health sooner so I can save some of my other attacks from before. Either way, though, we will have to use strong moves on this. I will say, it do each of these Pokemon take a little while before they'll actually uh, get angry. By the way, I say that as a joke. I actually kind of want to beat Avalog as fast as possible. Alright. Can we actually dodge these without uh, doing the attack thing? Yeah, just barely. This is how you're supposed to dodge it. So really, dodging just messes you up. That's good to know. Literally, dodging 
will actually cause you to get hit there. You should save your dodge for this beam right here. Because otherwise, you just get screwed. Well, now that I know how to do that, I'm not going to lose again. And I will say, this is... For the hardest fight in the game, it's sure proving to be that. Because not only was I not able to take it out in one hit with close combat, despite having the advantage, which is probably due to its higher health, but... Uh... It has some really brutal attacks, and yeah, I will say this fight is actually pretty difficult because I lost, obviously, which should say something. I think I could just finish him off by doing this, so let's uh, just defeat him right there. I got you still take damage in the background, even though it doesn't matter. Of course, now I make it look like a cakewalk, but again, when you don't know what to do, there's not much you can do against it. <laughs> but anyways, it's nice that they at least allow us to restart the battle. It's only if you mit defeat, I think, when it'll actually uh, take your items. So that means our items should still be there. I think that's because it's a storyline battle and not a regular battle. But anyways, we got Avalog quelled now. And we're going to kind of just continue through the main storyline as fast as we possibly can, at least until we finish it. So with that done, yes, although we may have done a lot of grinding off screen, I don't think we need to do as much grinding anymore. Eric, sir, you needn't look so downcast. It seemed mighty Avalog quelled and by such a sight child, a child that fell from the very side, is Yoshi... Girl, is this Yoshi girl some kind of monster in disguise? She is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Yoshi, Garrick cares for the Pearl Clan with all of his heart and believes in almighty subtle justice deeply. So he is feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your Galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Eredia, I know your fears will change what you've seen, what I've seen. Yoshi has much to teach us. She's showing us how we can overcome all manner of strife as long as our Pokemon are with us. She made me want to help Glaceon realize that my strength uh, a or strength as well as to see my whole world grow broader. Seems you've already changed, Iridia. I knew you could pull that off, Yoshi. You quelled every last frenzy? No. So that is that space time rift's gonna start closing or what? There's a little way of knowing for sure. The rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so, anyway. Well, if any luck, things will settle down. All of the rift does start spinning out more of that strange writing. We should be alright as long as we got Yoshi. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her on our side. You know something, Aridia? We may never agree on who's got it right about all my Sido, but your Fer and Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Look who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we quelled the last noble, I submit, I say we pay grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see, he's finally, see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Alright. Alright. Nice. And yes, we do keep our items. Thank gosh, I was worried. Oh, we still have some survey reports to report to the professor, despite me already uh, doing that. Probably because I uh, used items with it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fantastic stuff. As always, I'm sure the commander is equally writing your report to the village. All right. So these are like the gems of this game, basically. I will say this is this is this game is a first of its kind. What is that? 
Its insides are packed with gears and machinery that serve some unclear purpose, but if you can solve this item's mysteries, your word will be sharp early far greater than the price you paid for it today. <laughs> I'll get this sent to your quarters, free of charge, of course. Oh. Hey, yes, we got a lot of money off screen just by catching a lot of Pokemon and doing some other stuff. That's a lot of items that you can keep in your satchel. I wonder when he stops. <laughs> or is it just like you get infinite items in your satchel or something? Since I want to finish the main storyline, I'm actually going to ignore quests for the rest of it and just focus on finishing the storyline so that I can not only move on to a new game, but see this game to the end. Each of the Pokemon Nettles became fre aim Frenzy, and now each of them have been quelled. We still have no excitation for why this come out and keep uh, all us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. And to think peace would be restored to Hishui by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it'll dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we'll be able to return to our normal lives. Go and nourish yourself at a wildfire and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget, the Survey Corps' work is now over does not end until people can live here in Hishui without fearing the Pokemon around us. Alright. Okay. Nice. That was actually the first time we lost a battle, which, to be fair, is a blind playthrough, so it's to be expected. <laughs> it's also probably the last noble we had to quell, so it makes sense. Thanks for this nice, sizable helping of Potato Manchi, Benny old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. Alright. Now that Avalug's quelled, we can survey all over Hishui. I certainly had my reasons for Avalug's quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, that suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the Frenzy Nobles could have wrecked if Yoshi never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, does that- Would that mean Yoshi'd be stuck here? I guess so. While well, our little team is certainly very practiced by Vesti- Essie by now, we'll look into the matter and find a solution, I have no doubt. And even if we don't, you always have a home here in Dubai Village, Yoshi. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokedex. If you're around, that Pokedex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just take along as your assistant? Assistant, come on now, mate. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Alright. Okay. Seems like the same thing happens after every noble we quell. Something tells me that is not the final boss, and also, <laughs> well, that's another reason that the uh, Avalog might not be the final boss, because BAKOOM! Something just happened. What is going on? Disaster, Roman. Go outside and see what's happening. What? Wait, what about my toolbox? Mm. I don't see where the toolbox is. Ah, whatever. I have no time. We have to see what's going on. Disaster movie. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Oh, no. Red things in the s <laughs> red hexagons in the sky. What is gonna happen now? This doesn't look good, Yoshi. What? And here I thought the rift was smaller. Okay, it definitely got bigger. 
Hmm. What's gonna happen now? We're still nowhere near to figuring out how to go to that place. Some sort of dreadful enemy seems to be pouring from the left in space-time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I've word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Oh boy. <laughs> this is never fun. I like how the music has just stopped. Hmm. Way the sky has changed, it's ominous. Very ominous indeed. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is a more pressing concern that must be addressed. The first strike of the strange enemy, the one that drove Kevlar into a frenzy, had struck the night that Yoshi fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who are, who or what are you really, Yoshi? I don't really know, actually. That is actually the truth, because I just kind of fell in here. I don't know who I am. Indeed. Came from the left as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Do you think you could gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And if we gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? And I just shake my head. Well then, Commander, there's nothing to suggest that Yoshi has wronged us. Exactly, and besides, do you really think she's got the sort of fearsome power I take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn, can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? That person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in the space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee that she is to be trusted? But that's... No one could do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Yoshi supposed to do then, huh? She'll be given the chance to investigate this fierce disaster, but not as a member of the galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear a name. There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored your world to its rightful state and prove your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. I, my character looks that. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Yoshi? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition team. I've not forgotten your deeds, is nor the unusual skill you to say. That is why I've chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clamp you in change. Wow. That is an awkward way... That is an awkward turn in the storyline. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Where's our orders indeed? Let's go! This way. Oh, 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 hello. I didn't know I had movement <laughs> until now. Good grief. Scary, he says. Somebody just said on the right. What about you? Can it really be true? <laughs> Alright. How could anyone do such a thing? I guess we should have expected this from a stranger in the sky. Nothing from them. Oh, now we made it to the main area. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this as a stranger or a member of the Survey Corps. It's only right that I should personally escort her from the village into the Fieldlands camp. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. And I'll mark you down as bound for the Fieldlands camp. Safe travels. Oh, wow. 
Cutscene after cutscene after cutscene. Wait a minute. I just realized, because the storyline isn't over, I think I understand why this is happening. We haven't even found Arceus! It's Pokemon Legends Arceus, and we haven't caught Arceus yet. It makes sense that Arceus would either be the final character we get, or the final boss of the game. Either that, or Palkia, and or... Or, uh... Uh, da da Dalga or Palkia might appear as well, but otherwise, Arceus has to appear at least once. It can't be this game without Arceus appearing, so that makes sense. Also, I can't believe the boss would do this. We've called all those nobles frenzies under his own orders. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. It's utterly intolerable and, might I add, absolute, absurdly unscientific. That a silence, I must fight such a logical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Yoshi more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others might offer help. You've been an aide to both the Diamond and Curl clan. Of course, perhaps Eradim or Iridia might take you in. And I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective salads. I bet you could start by finding it Lian at the Glan Chialia. Not sure where mine be if you want the Diamond clan. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. I'll ensure you all... You have all you need to complete the survey the commander is tasked you with. If I might offer you advice, in this life you'll meet with both immigration and abuse with others. Others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What did the dream I first shared with you on Prio Beach to complete the Pokedex? Dream simply won't come true without you. Let's see, is teleport blocked? Nope. Okay, well, that's nice. We could just go straight here. You! What in the world did you do? Hey, let's size of it. Lightning starts pouring for it. All the Pokemon in history could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. Should know that the only come from the rift was disaster. I need help, actually. Help? Uh, well, that's not exactly something I could do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Iridia in a difficult position. I truly do wish I could repay you for quelling Kelvar's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I alone could do for you. One Mai might be able to help you all. She is a caring woman, after all. You'll find Mai, most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain, so, the Vashis of Hishui, there's a place for you as well. Alright. Apparently, we can still go in and do other stuff. However, we cannot talk to the professor anymore. We can still save, which is nice. We'll definitely drop at least one save. We also still have the nobles. So right now, these five nobles on the right side area that you saw on the little spot, these are the only people that trust us now. Everybody else thinks we're an outcast, some kind of criminal or something like that. Which is not a fun way to end off a game, right? You already started as a stranger in the game, but now you suddenly have, like, other stuff happening. Oh, it's so ridiculous. Also, I need to remember that because I'm flying around in a different area, I might encounter, quote-unquote, might encounter some flyers. If I see one, I have to make sure it doesn't hit me, because if I ever do black out, I don't know what will happen. Okay, well, at least we made it to my... My, my! What a frightful sky! Such a disturbing sight it would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. No. Oh, what brought this about, do you? I don't know. I'm actually trying to find out that. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. 
I heard from our leader what happened. Return to that village of yours, can you? I'm afraid the Diamond Clan can't be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up in war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you'd regret that as much as anyone. The Great War Deer took a lie to you. I want to offer you support, but forgive me, I can't help you in this. Do not bad in hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you will continue to find a path to walk. Alright. Since Pokemon are our only help now, we're gonna have to find Arceus at some point. Otherwise, what will happen? Oh, it's a Shinx. Just kind of chilling here. I'm not sure if this is the same shakes from before. Oh! Interesting. I think they're ushering us to follow them. Usually when stuff like that happens, I think they're ushering us to follow him somewhere. Oh, hello. This boy is here again. Strange event seems to follow you wherever you go, don't they? <laughs> Welcome back, Mr. Buddy. Found you at last, Yoshi. Vols got to just been chilling and moving around. He very well could be a new ew, friend or rival. Ray so far has been our main rival. Vols kind of just been everywhere. Like an alternate rival almost. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. Seems you're quite in a pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pro Clan to say nothing poorly that Galaxy Tree mistreated you. And not to worry, there are still corners of the history where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that would be a perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. All right, where are we gonna end up now? This is weird. Here we are. I know it's no palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers? Well, this guy is kind of just in the middle of nowhere. Perking your work to come pester me again. Beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Mistress Kogita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hishui's myths and legends. No, Mistress, thank you. Just Kaigda, and this is. Why, Yoshi, this is the woman of the hour. She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor rat she spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one, it seems you'll be able to fill my duty at long last thanks to you. Lost one? What's that? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, but the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There is much to be told. All right. We're just going for the story line as best as we can, because until then, we can't really capture anything or work with the professor. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to immemorable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther beyond, uh, still from ours, dwells a mighty Sinnoh. Expanse from equity to eternity, and the expanse to all sides above and below, Time traces the path we tread from the, from the here and now into the future, while space yawns all incompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, combines all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is either than the other, as the two, those two glands do? You really can't. Perhaps the tooth is queerer to a laundress such as you, one who has known other ages. 
Now listen, Moss One, here is what you must do. It should be held three lakes of great importance, Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. Each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each set will set before you and bear gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. There you will see the red chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it wouldn't, won't close the lift? Can't we spare your, be your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I'm about to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. Here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. There's no... There's nobility in knowing what must be done and seen to it. Arc foes aping. You can see the locations of free eggs marked now. Mistress Kagita's got a lovely workbench here, and if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? That is a problem, is it? What should we do all about that, indeed? What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost health? Do see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Yoshi. Alright. So this is where we go- So this is why the lakes were closed off. They are end game stuff. Hello, hello, it's an Abba. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? It's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Yoshi. To Yoshi, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Dubai Village. So assured you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept survey course center to bring this bizarre situation under control pop properly. Sincerely, Silene. Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition Team. Good tidings for the letter, then. That's right. So then, where to visit three likes? It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Like the opportunity, aren't you, Volo? Such a consumable guild merchant. Oh, there they are. Managed to reserve my people for now. So keep their close eye on the nervous too. Seems all's quiet for the moment, and so here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we are to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations would grow strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it will be just one of us, me or her. It's up to you, though the answer should be obvious. I'm gonna choose this action. You know what? To have fun, I'm gonna choose this based off of the game Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl that I played. And because that's uh, Shining Pearl, I'm going with Iridia because she's of the Pearl Clan. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got uh, you what you needed when you first set out to quell Quelvor. You and I made his bombs together. Yes. Just what I would have said to the Yoshi. You made the right choice. You won't regret it. So then the left her leader will... Left dealer, think again. Yoshi trusts me enough to leave the tough job off to me alone. I'll keep an eye on the commander so I can let you know if anything happens. Of course, of course. And the lucky chose Ozen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. The first test will be to decide which of Shui's agents three great lakes to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. I'd rather we'd walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. Alright, ready? Uh, you and Yoshi, well, you two do what needs doing. Alright. Okay. So this is our new base camp area where we head out to different sites. So this tells us where to go. So this this area is a hidden location which allows us to warp to any area we want. Except for July Village, of course. And it also tells us where to find certain ones. We're going to start with uh, the Ascidian Fieldlands one first, though. 
All right. <laughs> well, this is going to be some interesting effects that we have to deal with. Definitely. Definitely not the best when it comes to other stuff, but what can you do sometimes? Whoa. That was close. Ah, oh, whatever. It's... I think we're close up. Well, it's time to visit the lakes, one by one. Not sure if we'll be able to visit them all from the top, but we'll try. Actually, it looks like we can. Initially, I thought that barrier prevented us from going past, but now that we have some other stuff, we can kind of just drop in from over here and get to them that way. That makes it pretty easy to get to them. The question is actually quelling the nobles. That's a bit tricky. If it is a noble battle. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it left it via a huge clear that filled with water. And so Lake Verti was born. It's protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. Ooh. It was when Mesprit took flight. Flight that people... Oh, first learned of the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how old tales go anyways. Alright. Now our arc foam gains some mysterious power. Okay. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that arc phone the professor... Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? What surprises wait within, I wonder. Mr. Skagita seemed quite intent that you would prove to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. I'm just gonna enter this with what I have. If I, uh, I, oh well. The air feels somehow tense in here. Also, it's alphas. Messy Pokemon stands before you. You and your Pokemon quelled Hishui's nobles. You can handle any battle, Yoshi. Okay. I'll just walk up to it. And it's a forced battle, I think. All right. No. Oh, I like how it tells us what's super effective and what's not. Ooh, one hit. Nice way to start this off. All right, first run down. It's curious, but when I watch you and your Pokemon battle, I feel as there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence. Oh, boy. What's Mesprit's trial gonna be? I never actually know. Your emotions. Share them with me. They're yours. Could only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise. Makes the most sense. How did it feel to bond with Okan and work together? Exciting. What did you feel when you mingled with Hishui's cans? We're all so different. What do you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? I feel bitter. I feel bitter. That's really what I feel. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Alright. I think we did what we came here to do. All that was just a quiz, it seemed like. Okay. 
Proof that you completed a child set by Master at the B emotion. All right, we got the child done. Okay. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, on to Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. Wow. This is a really crazy endgame so far. I actually did not expect it to be like this. I'm glad I am gonna try and finish it today, because I definitely want to see the ending of this. Looks like that worked out well, Yoshi. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hishui Vovel. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but I'm mostly just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose, I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where four bears once beheld the mighty Sinnoh. But I've still yet to see an almighty Sinnoh for myself. Waitly matters to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kaiya's home? Yes, because that's how we go to the different areas. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. I like how you could just go back right away. That... That saves a little bit of time. Oh my. Ah, oh, Mashred's boom. So the legends told it true. Then the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kuya, ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain? Why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubts suggest a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might even say the world, time, space, all creation exist only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation truly as it is. Uh, what? So, does the mind create the world? Or is it the our way around? Or is it... Such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are sure fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete more tri two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. And take along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient wounds. <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. That actually kind of seems about right. Unfortunately, we don't actually have a lot of time to do this stuff. So we're going to end the episode right here, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.